Hi guys, happy new year. I hope you had a great uh, New Year's Eve, like I did, oh, hangover. Anyway, uh, today I'll be doing helmets for graffiti, writing, decals, anything that's on the helmet, I'll be showing you on covers as well, okay? So uh, I'll pick out some helmets here and then I'll just bring them over and just show you, okay? So here, I've got a Second World War helmet. I call it the brain helmet. As you can see, it looks like a brain on top, look at that. Really dented but it's showing its history there, okay? And uh, here, it's got some writing on the sides. Okay, I'd like to read it out, because you can see it, you see? There you go, there's some numbers there as well. This is a Second World War helmet. As you can tell by the stainless steel in the front seam. So, uh, I only bought that, that one was really cheap, that was about $20. You just said, yeah, take it for $20. So I said, yeah, I'll have that one. So yeah, as I call it, the brain helmet. <laughs> okay, that's that one, and uh, this one here is another Second World War helmet. There you go, front seam, stainless steel rims, okay. Now, when I got home, I didn't notice this when I bought it at the shop. When I got home, I took a photo of it, and then I looked at the photo, and uh, photos somehow bring out things that are on the helmet I can't see. So anyway, that right there, can you see like the A there? That's the Third Army decal. So I kind of matched it up, and I put like a. Uh, I found one on the on the, the the internet, and I kind of I put it on there just to see if it match up, and it did. It matched up quite well. It's got white paint on the front there, which uh, God knows what all that's about. But there you go. Yeah, it's another one with uh, something on the helmets. And. Uh, some other, other ones here. There you go, some numbers on there. Now this is the Second World War American helmet reissued to the Thai Army. That there is uh, Thai Army uh, numbers. And uh, I think that could be the packing strip on there. I'm not too sure what's left on there. Most probably they thought it looked cool. Or it could be for something else, I'm not too sure. But it's got stress cracks in and uh, yeah, it's another helmet with something on it. Yeah, I had the same. There's another number on it, issued to the Thai Army. This, yet again, is American helmets. It's got the stamped numbers in there. This one's a 903F1944. So there you go, it was reissued to the Thai Army. What else have we got here? All right, camouflage. Okay, another thing that's been sprayed on the helmet, or added to the helmet. As you can see, that's the second L wall, front seam, stainless steel rim. And that's been uh, sprayed on lot for camouflage. Uh, uh, you know, I can only just say it's on there, but I don't know if it's been sprayed on from second L wall, or Korean, or Vietnam. But it's on the helmet, so I'm showing you, okay guys? You know, with all the helmets, you cut you. You can't exactly say the actual proper history on it. You can only guess because you weren't there or I wasn't there to say, yeah, that was from the Second World War. There you go, guys. That's a camo helmet. And we've got another one here. This is Second World War again. Camo. Different colors. even got like gold. It looks like gold there. Yeah, quite clean inside as well, isn't it? Crikey. Okay, that's that one. And, uh, well, I'll show you my newest one, okay? This is the Crayon War one. You've all seen that one in the other video. That's quite nice, that. Crayon War helmet. You know what? It had a really huge ding here, and it went quite away in like that deep there. I knocked it out, looks a lot better now. Just left a couple of things there just to show a bit of history there. But yeah, it's all right that one, I like that. Korean War, American helmet. Now, uh, also, I'll do my little paint jobs as well. I painted that on, which uh, to me looks pretty cool, I like that. 
with age, it will start to, it's, it is starting to rust on the paint now in some places. So another five years that will blend in with the helmets. This is a Vietnam War helmet. So that was pretty easy to paint on. In one of my videos, if you go back, you'll see it, how I did it. It's, uh, it was a good little project I did there, I think. I mean, I'm not an artist, but it looks all right. Some more graffiti, prom. Okay, and that's uh, staff sergeant prom. You can see on the top there. That's Second World War as well. That's a lovely one, stainless steel. Some stress cracks there, which you know I love stress cracks. A lot of people say, "Oh, god, stress cracks, no good." But it just shows the age of the helmet. It looks pretty good. Always leaving. Some people fill them in, but nah, I keep them there. Look pretty good. So I'll put that back on the old head there. And we've got this other one. This is a Schluder. Yeah, Schluder. It's got some writing on the front there, which I can't make out. Nah, let me keep it still to see if we can make out what that is. I'm not too sure. It's got Wilson on the back. Okay. So that, that is a lovely one. Yet again, stress cracks. Just here. Stainless steel. Front seam. That's a lovely little beauty. And fixed bail. Schluder as well, okay. Fixed bales. There and there. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I said all my videos, I don't know why I have straps cut up to here. Why is that? I don't know. Uh, Some more graffiti on there. And it looks like what they've done here is put bullet holes on the side. And there's like a target. If I keep it there still, you can see the circles going around here. It's like a target practice. <laughs> and a star that side. Looks like they're trying to make it like a bullet's gone gone through the side and come out here. <laughs> That's Second World War as well. That's a lovely helmet. And yet again, this is this is a 1943 helmet, okay, and it's fixed bail as well. And yeah, fixed bail there. In there as well. Okay, so that's a good second hair. Uh, second World War helmet. And then we've got this one here. This one's got graffiti on the back. It's got a little arrow, sort of like, must probably say, follow me. But the colour of this helmet it looks kind of like strange, you know? Second World War. It's got some graffiti inside as well. And this one is 1942 May. And the heat stamp is 159C. So that's a very early helmet. Okay. It almost looks like it's a marine helmet, actually. That's sort of like the early color. So yeah, I love that one. But, uh, it's got swivel bales, okay, so what it, it's been reissued back into Vietnam, or the Korean Vietnam War, and they, they updated it with swivel bales. I've taken the old uh, fixed bales off. As I said in many of my videos before, there's a little punch mark in the rim here that indicates it was a fixed bale. Remember that, guys. You'll be checking all your helmets now for that little dot. <laughs> now here, Okay, there's also like writing inside your helmets, as you can see there. That's the name of the guy and he's a uh, laundry number. Okay, now if you look in some of your helmets and you see like uh, it's been resprayed inside, and then you kind of see like little bubble stuff over the paint, just have a look at that. That's what I did with that one. I noticed like it was, it was raised up a bit on the paint here. 
I thought, ah, oh, hang on. Now that's gonna be writing underneath there. So what I did, I just got a little bit of paint remover. I dabbed it on for about two seconds. Here in Thailand, the sun's hot, it burns quick. Two seconds, wiped off, then I saw numbers. Then I thought, right, put it over there. Within a couple of seconds, I wiped it off quick so it doesn't take the paint off. And that's what it come up with. So there you go, look in your helmets as well. If you see any bobbly sort of thing over, you know, that could be writing or numbers. And this one here as well, this is, uh, this helmet is a 1944, Second World War. And uh, I took the paint off in the back there and I could see like, uh, like letters and numbers. And this one is uh, F.W. Randolph Smith. And it's got his number there as well. So I could look that guy up, but you know, look, I had a look. My God, there's loads of Randolph Smiths. Which one? God, crikey. Now I have got other helmets in my uh, collection here with graffiti on, but you know what? Oh, trying to find it, I'll be here all day trying to find it. Anyway, look, I'll show you um, a cover, okay, Vietnam War cover that I made, okay? A lot of people say, oh God, I wish I had that. Where do you get, you know, where do you find that? Easy. I found it in a shop. It was just plain. And I thought, well, hang on, I can get loads of these. So then I graffitied this one and have a look. There you go, guys. I graffitied that myself, okay? That there's a Chinese star, but you know, in Vietnam, they did wear those as well, the, the North uh, Vetcons. See, there you go. Pull that on and put that sort of stuff up there. And uh, you know what, to, to make this look old as well, which, you know, you kind of rub it a bit, you, you, you know, you draw that on like, and then uh, what I did, right, is a cheese grater. And you're thinking, what are you using a cheese grater on the cover for? Well, I'll show you. Okay, what you do, you just put it on there. You go like that. Okay. Can you see where, uh, see that? It ages the helmet. I'll do it over this bit here, over the flag. Just put a hole in it, you see? There you go. But this is dated as well, this is 1965. So, uh, obviously, I don't want to put too many holes in it. And, uh, kind of looks alright. I've had so many offers on this, everybody wants to buy it. And that's inside as well, nice liner. It's got all the, everything in there. Love it. So, uh, yeah, I've had so many offers on this uh, cover, but they're so easy to do like this, okay? If you're a good artist, well, I'm not a good artist, but it looks all right, yeah? Okay, guys. So that is my little uh, little video on uh, graffiti and things on helmets. Now, I'm gonna show you my uh, son's helmets, okay? Which I did for him. They're just ordinary tie helmets. He said, Papa, I want helmets like you. So I thought, well, yeah, I don't want to give him these Second World War ones, you know? Might muck a bell, drop them, or scratch them, wing them. So then I thought, well, I'll give them the tie helmets. They're not, they're worth nothing. So um, I did little paint jobs on them, cut the front as a front seam, left the back seam, leave it there. I write inside tie helmets, so and then he knows. And I'll show you them, okay? Like this one here. There you go. There's a helmet, that different, because I corked it. A little bit of a camo there. Put the old follow me stripe on the back there. Okay, and there you go. There's a Normandy landings uh, helmet there. And as you can see at the front there, front seam, but it's not. This is a 1980s helmet, but at the back it's still got the, the rear seam, okay? So there you go, guys. I haven't written this one, actually. Uh, this is a tie helmet. I must do that. I'll show you the other ones, okay? So that's that one. There you go, I'll show you this one guys. There you go, I painted that on for him as well. Stained it a bit like it's like a, yeah, but it's, uh, I recorked it all. The only thing is I haven't got olive drab paint here. It's really hard to find. 
Okay, and then I'll put that on the back as well. The Ranger. Okay, now I painted that with real oil paint, right? That took months and months and months to dry. Every time I went like that, it came off like paste, you know? I thought, oh God, it's never dry. It's dry now. Chipped it a bit, scrubbed it a bit. Just rubbed it a bit with uh, sandpaper there. And it had dripped on the helmet, but I left it there. Just like, you know, stained helmet's been used. Front seam, but it's not, it's a rear seam helmet. There you go, I'll put it in there, look, that one. See, tie, not second world war. And I have to do that in the other one as well. So there you go, these are my son's helmets. And he said, Papa, I like the medic helmet, second world war medic. Well, okay, there you go. So I made that for him as well, put the net on. Net's uh, new. And uh, as usual, inside there, tie, not second world war, okay. Front seam, you see the front seam there? And it's rear seam, I don't even see it through the netting there. But there you go, that, that's been corked as well. And it's kind of bloated, I rubbed the cork down on this one. The other ones look kind of like, look really new, but these are like bloated, you see? And uh, again, this is supposed to be faded olive drab. So, um, I actually got like a like a little hobby paint and painted the helm with about four or five pots. <laughs> okay, so that one. Now, crikey, the wrong way. Gee, so now this one here, he said, Papa, I, I like that helmet, it's got the big MP on the front. Okay. Well there you go. I painted that on for him as well. Recorked it. There you go. MP. And I haven't put, this is a tie helmet, not second world war, which I have to put in there. And it's, I cut the front with a pair of rose clippers. <laughs> and it's still at the back there. I don't know if you can see it somewhere around there. Just there, rear, rear seam. So there you go, guys. That's, uh, that keeps him happy. At the moment, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven helmets. So I've got to do another three more for him, okay? But I don't know, I'll keep them backwards. Gee, where's I? Yeah, so there you go, guys. That's just showing you the graffiti and anything that's written on the helmet or decals or, or decals or even. So there you go, guys. Uh, I just was you around my collection there. There you go. It is growing every week. The helmets everywhere here. Because all the sun, because you got, you got my Japanese helmets there. Eh? With the sands of Iwo Jima. And uh, all the other helmets down there. So there you go guys. Uh, well, I hope you like the video. And please share, share thumbs up and like. And help me make another video. Please get more subscribers. Tell your friends. Help me out. Catch you later, guys.